Hi, I've just got the one more post. I just want to shout out for... sort of known prophet, but someone that God's put on my heart who is um, based in a country very close to me and I feel connected to her and my call and God has shown me her, highlighted her sight and her words which are true. So I took some notes on one of her prophetic words. Um, I won't be misquoting what she said, I know my notes are correct. Um, her name is Anita Alexandra. Uh, she is the wife of Sasha Alexander, whom I met, who came to our nation um, in around about 1996, very bravely, into a religious church, into a very religious city. And he honoured God and he obeyed him. And he has this wonderful wife, he's very prophetic. She has a gift, very, very different from me, but I just want to share her message, just to shout out uh, to encourage her if she ever sees it but just to encourage everyone else because uh, I don't know if people are hearing her voice uh, I certainly have been encouraged by it so she called this word and it came forth um, on a post on the 24th of the 9th 2018 so that is September revealing the hidden truths she's labeled it apocalypse means revealing the hidden truths. I've just googled it and yep yeah, I can confirm that because in the Greek apo means our un and kalutine is to cover. Uncover and reveal so we are revealing the hidden truth the word apocalypse so I do believe this is the word that does reveal truth so I'm just going to read my note they might not flow because they're basically bullet points so she quoted Malachi 4, the day of the Lord. It's a repentance move. Some messenger preparing the church for repentance. Psalm 24, the avenger, the day of vengeance, restitution, making every wrong right. Yom Kippur is definitely a heart cry for her, and that was the season that this was given in. The church is dead. The day of the prodigal, the church has fallen asleep. Worldly style, pseudo Christianity, invite to repent of that calling back the prodigal. And I just want to add my bit to the prodigal story. I feel like I am um, a prodigal. I've never been the other son, but I've experienced that in church and I've definitely um, tried to understand the heart of the other son. But I would add them to um, a prodigal as well that needs to be called back. And this, for this reason, just the fact that um, the other son, although he was doing all the right thing, his sin was because he thinks he deserves and earns the favour of his father. I think that might be harder to get. So anyway, back to Anita's word. So revive, causing her to wake up. Of course, he's talking about the bride here. The spirit of the Elijah anointing, that double portion. Well, I've definitely had that word for myself, and I bet very many have out there who are being called as prophets in this day, because it is the Elijah anointing that God is uh, dispensing to his sons and daughters. On the third day, rise up, establish, confirm, prove, and validate the sons of God manifesting. The marking of repentance will be a separation, ones that have got the oil, of course we're talking about the virgins, the oil, some have the oil and others did not have enough, those who fear my name, not those with political correctness as an agenda, it's not going to save the world, this is not the hour for the church to build on the sand but on the rock and those who have not chosen to build on this rock will definitely ooh, here's my dog, stand out in this move. Repent, pseudo-Christianity, antichrist spirit. Ooh. Running reap through the church. Pain endured for obeying God. Now this is true, it's a sacrifice. Then you shall treat the lawless and the wicked. Their spiritual warfare. Enemies has, are as footstools. Seasons of dominion, impossible, made possible. The king of glory, war, mighty in battle, king reigns, a day of Judah who has triumphed, send you. On the second day, she's written, 
Behold, I'm going to send Elijah Camel's here, restoration. Um, I know she has um, a meaning, she's interpreted a meaning behind the camels here. You, may, you probably know it, and I will come back to that if I um if I if I have I might have a word look at her word again. Spirit of Elijah anointing the waymaker, the valley low, every valley being lifted. Trim the wick, trim the wick, which is basically repentance. Shout prophetic. So the prophet's mouth mouths are full of fire and repentance, intimacy, spirit of truth. Turn the hearts of the children to the Father. Turning the tables. The gospel is preached the day of vengeance. Turning, turning. This is now she sings in the spirit, and these are words that she was singing. Turning, turning. Turning the works and traditions. Me, myself, and I. Well, pretty good at me, aren't we? Garments stripped off. The cloak of dignity. Lay your lives on the altar. A living sacrifice. So all of that. Is a word to the church. I don't know if it's well received, and I don't believe it's being received, but I'm putting it out there again for Anita. You guys need to hear it. I have no problem with it. I have, I have no issue with it at all. Um, it was definitely addressed to me at one stage, but that came to me well and truly after I'd already responded. So pity those who haven't, if a word like that uh, is given to you direct. God's anointing comes on you when you hear it. Please go to her site. Have we listened to it? Uh, I'm sure it will carry in more of anointing from her mouth because it was given to her. I just wanted to uh, send that out to you uh, before I move into some of the words that God's given me. Um, I'm going to start with um, Satan because uh, the Lord said for me to go to books from September on and that was the first word I had in there and it was addressing Satan. Uh, so we'll start there, and I, um, I have some prayers too, uh, a couple of Warfield prayers that he's given me. Um, so I'll definitely post those today, and then we'll see where we go from there, because I just hear from day to day. Thank you. Bless. <laughs> 